didn't seem like you had your best stuff. Uh, you know, four walks it didn't, you know, weren't as sharp as you've been maybe during your current streak that you're going on, but you were still able to throw up uh, six, seven zeros up there. Um, how were you able to have such success even when you didn't have, you know, your A-plus stuff? Uh, you know, I, I was just trying to go out there and just try and throw low strikes, whether I was battling with mechanics or whatever it may be. You know, I struggled today, but my offense picked me up in that big five spot in the first inning, so that helped me kind of a lot, a little, gave me a little leisure and kind of helped me out with my mechanics, even though they were kind of awful today. But, I know, a real defense picked me up. I just tried to throw it around the zone. Defense picked me up. Jelly out there with some great plays. Same with Matt Camfer. Um, defense in the infield. Manny picking me up, too, big time. So, I was just, defense did a really good job today, helped me out, even though I didn't have my stuff. So, that was awesome. Yeah, you struggled. And, you know, struggling for you was seven in and four hits, six Ks. Yeah. Um, that, I, I think that kind of speaks to how the role that you've kind of been on. You know, what has been different for you from the beginning of the season when you were throwing up you know, six innings and three runs, which is not a bad line, but to be able to put up 45 innings now in a row where you haven't given up an earned run? I think uh, mentality-wise, I haven't really changed it. I think just earlier on, I was just maybe trying to do too much, whether it was throwing too hard or just trying to strike everybody out when you can't really do that. You got eight guys behind you for a reason, and you just got to force contact and just let your defense work. I mean, I think a lot of my a lot of my guys in the beginning of the year, my defense, they told me, hey, stop trying to strike everybody out. Give me some ground balls or fly balls because you got the stuff. So I was like, I, I took that to heart, and I just really tried to pound the zone from there, and it just, it's just been working out. Defense has been picking me up some big plays, so it's been real nice. Tell me kind of about your attack when you go on the mound. Uh, it looked like today you, you know, used the fastball almost uh, predominantly. A um, little bit of off-speed stuff maybe the second, third time around. But, you know, it was really attacking with the fastball early. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just that's kind of just a, a philosophy as a pitcher. I want to I want to get my fastball in there and show I can throw it to both sides of the plate, up, down, north, south, east, west, whatever it may be. I just I think if I I think it's the fastball is the best pitch in baseball. I mean, you saw Greg Maddox. Happy birthday to the guy recent, most recently, but like the guy just he utilized it in MLB and just you tag both sides of the plate. All you need really is one pitch, and it just it's kind of trying to, something I'm just trying to work on. You know, working on my fastball, and if I can do that, then the off speed's only going to help. How much different do you pitch when you go out there and before you even take the mound, you've already got a big 5-0 lead? Do you change anything up? Does your philosophy change at all with that? Oh, no, it doesn't change at all. I remember Aaron coming into me right after he hit the home run. He said, hey, it's still 0-0 ball game. You know, you just got to go out there. You got to treat it not like it's a 12-run ball game or a one-run ball game. It's always 0-0. You got to pitch like that and just attack the zone. How much has it helped you guys as a team to, for Aaron to get going? I mean, he's you've been such a consistent hitter for throughout his career. Started off slow this year, but it seems like the batting average is raising, you know, game by game today with two hits, including the big homer. I think he's just he's always stung the ball. I don't I don't I think the average is kind of maybe just hitting under the box or whatever it may be, hitting under the cape. He's, he's always just stung the ball all year, whether it's the 250 average. I don't know what it was. I, don't, I didn't look at the stats. But the guy just always hits the ball hard at people. So I think he's just – the ball is trying to find a way from people. Now he's not hitting it hard at him anymore, and he's, he's starting to hit those base hits, which is real nice. How important is it for you guys to, you know, get your rival here at LMU right down the coast uh, to potentially get a series win here with you guys, around, both teams hovering around 500 in the, in the conference? I think it's real nice. Um, we're coming in this series. We're just we're trying to take it one pitch at a time, one game at a time. Uh, offense is swinging the bats well. Defense is playing real great. So I don't think we're trying to look at the big picture down the road. We're just trying to take it one game at a time and get wins from there.